uh, January 5th, 2015, this 10-year-old male, Pomeranian, not, not neutered, there's two testicles, one here, there are actually two here, so two testicles. And uh, now this left lump, left to the anus, so it's the left perineal hernia. Uh, lucky for this this dog, the, the right one didn't uh, didn't develop into hernia. Now this hernia, but the dog can still eat and and drink and yeah. pee and poo. Uh, yeah. <coughs> so now uh, normally the perineal hernia, they just let him stand. When you push it in, it can go in. Do you ever go in? Yes. Ever yeah. go in? Uh? Yeah. But sometimes it's hard to go in because the hole is too big already. So if you want to force it in, you can, but you can feel the stool. There is some hard lump here. Yeah. It's probably the stool uh, from the rectum. And then uh, the soft one could be just the fat. Uh. So you put up the tail. So what we do is uh, the surgery is so to cut open and then push back everything in. The best is cut open, but there's a sack. Push the sack in, don't cut the sack. Because when the sack goes in, then stitch up the muscle. The rectal muscle, the inner muscle here, stitch up to the side here and close up the hole. And then uh, in some cases, we put a mesh over the peritoneum and then uh, of course, cut off the excess skin, the extra skin cut off, and then uh, it's close up. Then about two weeks to four weeks, uh, neuter the dog. Of course, you can do it at the same time, but uh, I'm afraid this old dog, the, it's best not to to do to at the same time because the surgery will be longer, maybe another half an hour longer. And anything can happen to the old dog. So, but I've checked the old dog already, the heart is normal, the blood test is normal. So uh, the chances of him surviving this surgery actually is very good. Uh, chances are very good. And uh, so even then, the, it's best not to take too long to operate. But anyway, I can see it takes about an hour because you can't really, uh, because the hernia is too big, it cannot. The time is uh, still an hour, you see. But it cannot take five minutes to do, you see. So that's the reason. No? Oh, the risk is much higher the longer you do. But, uh, but the owner should have uh, neutered the dog when he was young. And the most neutered dog, I would, I would say 99% don't develop perineal hernia when they are neutered. Huh? But, uh, but the unneutered dogs, huh? the unneutered ones, uh, many of them develop perineal hernias. Uh, as to what reason is probably due to the hormones influence on the pelvic diaphragm, which loosen and open up and letting the rectum and the bladder come out. One of these could be even the bladder. Has he, has, has he pee already? Yes. Uh, pee already. The pee must be a TT. Now to differentiate whether it's perineal hernia or not perineal hernia, because it could be a perineal abscess or cyst or, or hematoma. So normally we we uh, push in, but now according to only ever go in. So by right, it should be better to go in. Uh, reduce it, we call it reduce it. If let's say no poo uh, can can can. Ah, so the owner has seen that we ever they don't have the stool. Uh. This is uh, not this one. Uh, only this side. Can this side goes in. in. Uh, uh. So this side is probably permanently the big. The rectum has the uh, has uh, has already stuck there already. So all the stool to end it. You take something for him to to pull, right? No, no. On the spot, can pull. immediately. Yeah. Then if he can pull, then everything should go in. Uh. There should be no more already. The pull, pull. No, I mean, uh, all the stool somewhat. Then this thing. Sometimes she go. She she feel like she think you go. Then no, you don't go. But then when he shit, all will come out. All come and then this whole swelling should be go in, really. No more, yeah. Uh, but I don't know. It's still huh? there. Yeah. Only this side to you can feel the thing. If this side goes in, I mean, this could be the bladder. Oh. The bladder, of course, oh. empty ray, oh. you know, isn't small. Oh. But I have a feeling he didn't, sh it, he's not able to pull all. Uh. He cannot pass all the motion, that's why, according to him, there's still the heart lung. Now, a perineal hernia is not so uh, swollen as a perineal abscess uh, or perineal cyst. Now, the other possibility is a perineal neoplasia because the dog is old. But you can actually see the outline of the intestine, uh, the rectum. So, uh, we have to open up and then we will know, but most likely it is a perineal hernia. Okay, thanks.